あ。Good. Let me go wash my face. I've been fighting with my network for the past hour. Oh boy, I can't wait for my switch to randomly die again. Dude, I swear I can smell it burning. <laughs> I, I unplugged it and smacked it real hard and plugged it back in and then it was like, no, no, I'm all right. So, ta-da. Couldn't find your exact switch, but blinking red is device failure. You don't say. No shit. Yeah, it just fucking died. Maybe it's overheating. It's not overheating. I assure you it's not. This is the coldest room in the house. Nothing else is overheating. Like, I, I, I have a freaking 16 port, like, all 10 gig switch, and it's fine. Oh, all right. All right, let me, let me get some shit off my desk. I don't even know where the switches are that I'm supposed to be lubing. Server sounds very loud today, Simon. No, it doesn't. Nice try. I can no longer reach the IPMI though. I had, to, I had to change like my whole network addressing, like I had to change my subnet and I changed the IPMI and it's just not come back up. I tried rebooting, I tried everything. I'm gonna need like an actual VGA like plug <sighs> to like fix it. Which is a big feels bad. Oh, all right, listen, we're going to drink a bunch I of whiskey. We're going to do a little bit of lubing, and that's it. All right. We're going to test the new macro cam setup because I had to reorganize the room so I could fit Kate over there. So, like, all my stuff has been moved. Like, I was previously... Oh, yeah. Look, look at that beautiful bag. I was previously, like, here. But now I have all this room for activities. I could put a kid in there. Ah. Loop and watch video submissions? That, that, no, that's too much. That's too much, man. I can't do both. I can do one. Pick one. I don't think we have like a full stream's worth of video, though. Ah. Just drink, yep. That's my goal. That's my goal, It's just drink. Dude, I don't know what the fuck happened to the switch. What switches are you lubing? The MX Blacks we started lubing like five weeks ago. Maybe we'll finish today. Surely. Surely we'll finish today. Oh, I'm still in my fucking work shirt and pants. It's fine, whatever. Like I came home and started fighting with my network up until like stream you can tell got a polo shirt 
under my black Simon hoodie. Oh. Oof. It's been an adventure. It's been a big fucking adventure. How do you feel? I feel better. Polo shirt in New Store? No. For Polo, I'd want to do stitching, not uh, not uh, direct, uh, whatever the fuck it's called, like stickers, basically. You get sick like 80 times a year? That's not true. I get sick like once a year. The last time I was really, really sick, like proper fucking sick, was July. That's when I had COVID. Dice Hub is actually a thing, but you can't get the, like you can't get the image quality of like a silk screen. Ah. All right, let's see. My desk is in like the biggest shambles of all time. I think chat overlay is stopped. Fuck. I fucking love knobs. Did my switch die again? It'll be more durable though. Uh, it depends. I did. I really didn't want to even like. Wait, what the fuck? My music stopped playing. Yeah, I reloaded the overlays and chat's not there. And the music's not playing. Bro, what the fuck is happening? Like, is it is it like randomly dropping packets? Bro, the music is just straight up not playing. What the fuck? Yeah, like, like outbound is fine. Like my inbound is really weird. Okay, I can reach the internet. Oh, okay, now, now it's playing. I'm having a great time. I hope you guys can tell. Like ever since like new stream setup, by new I mean like move like four feet to the left, stream setup, oh. Oh, God. What's up, Milk? Dubai moment? I had a real Dubai moment yesterday. Yesterday I spent eight hours without internet. I brought home a new router, plugged it in, configured it, because like, it was like pre-configured basically. I, it's all deployed via controller that I have. And it just wouldn't route. The router wouldn't route. And I was like, okay. Spent like a solid seven hours fighting with it. I fucking love At which nuts. point I just started angry drinking. Like this bottle was like up to here before I started, maybe even more. I just started fucking angry drinking. I haven't eaten, I hadn't eaten all day. And then it dawns on me. I was like, what if the fucking ISP router, cause like my router is behind the router. I don't have a choice. It's like a modem router. I was like, what if the ISP is just fucking cucking me? because like I'm not playing by the rules. So I set my router to DHCP and then it's all like, everything is fine. Dubai moment. Oh, also like I had changed the subnet of, uh, of the ISP router and it did not like that. So it was that and I can't use a static IP to connect to it, which makes no fucking sense because I use a static IP on my computer. Ah, it feels fucking bad. Did chat die? Is everything dead? Should I just end my life? Goodbye. <sighs> Oof. Oof. All right. A little bit more whiskey and then we'll get on, get on to the Lubin. Do you guys like my rack? That rack. I don't, oh, chat's now fucking working. The second I want to fucking show you the rack, then chat's like, hey, we're cool.
it's gonna be a nice rack once we're once we're there. Once we're there. We're almost there. We're almost there. Wait, this actually is VGA. Okay, we're cool, we're cool. I just have to buy a VGA cable. Like the only thing that's still lacking in the rack is I've got like the switch here that you guys can't see, which is all fiber, but then I've got like an ethernet switch. But the stock fans are loud as fuck and I don't get the replacement fans until next week. I have a replacement fan for this, that's why it's here. Figured out the two desks will fit? Yeah, 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 we'll make it fit, we'll make it fit. So yeah, second switch is gonna go in there as soon as I get the fans. Then we're gonna get two more servers in there. We're cool. No noise issues. Like, I fucking AC love and that. outside sound is louder than the rack. Hello, Simon. I saw the Sigma 105 macro that is... Mm. You're shooting Sony, right? A uh, APS-C. I'd go for the Sigma 70 mil macro. Did I win in a 910 raffle? No, I lost. And then I had a friend win and he was like, I'll give you my unit. And I'm like, oh, awesome. So I paid him, he set my address and then the order got canceled. And then I got really mad and I reached out to TGR Sam and I'm just like, give me a 910. And he's like, okay, so yes. Does Kate have to pay rent to stream for using stream space? You th what? Hey, to be fair, I have lost four 910 raffles and I waited until I won one fair and square and got cucked, then I backdoored. I don't like backdooring. Okay? I fucking love knobs. Ah, oh, 32X thock, that's a big thock. Yeah, justified backdoor. Like, what do you want me to do? Like, I had one and then I got it taken away. Four is a rookie number. Well, I lost the CE, the SE. I didn't enter for the gaff, and then I lost uh, two uh, MEs. Were you gonna put delete on the 910? Nowhere, I'm not gonna type on it. I literally just have it to round out my TGR collection that you can't even fucking see on screen. Maybe well, you can see that one. Feeling any better? Yeah, 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 yeah. We're doing all right. We're doing all right. <sighs> You're on a unicorn L streak. To be fair, just keep trying. Cause like a lot of people got unicorns this time. I-69 on the shelf. What am I typing on? The Caliup for now, because I got to review it. This. Also, I know everything is crooked. Just deal with it. All right, let's, let's try out the new macro cam placement. Let's see how this goes. Nice W1, thanks. Wait. So you didn't like PC five millimeter on the 280S? No, of course not. It's fucking terrible. All right, so these are completed switches. Apparently my uncompleted switches are just randomly sitting on my desk. I have random Nixies. Let's put the garbage in the garbage. All right, so these are oh, fuck. random fucking server fans and cables and shit. Desk is in shambles, boys. True shamble. Did you buy the CRP? No, no, because I've been spending very, very naughtily on server and networking shit. So I gotta, I gotta take it easy. And I had to pay for some other stuff too. But like, I got like a whole bunch of fiber cables, transceivers, a fiber switch, a standard PoE switch, a smaller PoE switch, a router, a controller, brand new Wi-Fi for the entire house. I uh, and then love like, knobs. I've gone through two fucking 10, giga, uh, 10 gigabit network cards. Uh, there on the rack. So yeah, I've, I've been spending very bigly on server shit. So I gotta, I gotta calm the fuck down a little bit, you know. Oh my god, that hoodie—it's pretty, it's pretty cool. It's 
pretty nice. All right, let's let's do this. All right, let's check out the new. Okay, I where where is Lubing stuff? Where is where is life? Where is? Where is anything? I really need to clean my desk. Oh, there it is. We found it. And there's our lube. I assume we're doing 204. All right, only thing that's missing is an applicator. I can just grab a new one. Also, hello, Kate. Ah. All right, just in time for the mosque. Let's go. All right, let's see how this goes. Ooh, all right, that's pretty dope. Can bump up the ISO a little bit. Yeah. All right. Let me try and get a comfortable location. There we go. So this is the new macro cam placement because I can't put it in the old spot anymore because I moved the desk too far. I think it looks better. Honestly, I think it looks better. Like it's kind of cramped over here. I'll figure it out. All right. For the record, we're not gonna do a lot of lubing, all right? We're gonna do a small amount of lubing. We do a little lubing. But I do want to finish it. I really do want to finish it up. I do regret using these springs that Paul gave me. Like, I thought they were Gion springs. Turns out they're like some sussy prototype springs. Not great. You're shooting APS-C? Uh, the 70 millimeter is sharper than the 105. Uh, I think the 70 is more, is more recent than the 105, if I'm not mistaken. I didn't even... Re Isn't the 105 for Canon? Korean sus? I'm not sure. All I know is it's sus. Are these already broken in? Sure. Sure. Wait. Are these the correct springs? Yeah, I didn't spring swap for, uh, for the H uh, Nixies. Have a good stream, have a good sleep. <sighs> All right, I just gotta like find like a comfy angle. I'm still struggling. Ooh. One oh five F two point eight DHD and macro art says it's Sony E mount. Sony, yeah, E mount is APS-C, FE would be full frame. It's up to you. I mean, the nice thing about the 70 is at least like you can use it as like a rent, a normal lens basically to like grab nice pictures. 105 seems like it'd be really tight. Cause remember it's 105 full frame. So like APS-C, it's gonna be like fucking like 170 or some shit. So it's gonna be like really tight. Are those cherries? Indeed they are. These are blacks. We are going to put them in a keyboard and we are going to enjoy it. So how many have addicted me to OSRS again? It's okay, I've been playing too. You wanna also potentially use it for videos? Okay, uh, if you're going to use it for video, uh, find out if the 105 also has uh, like, does the lens itself go in and out, or is it all internal? If it's all internal, go for the 105. If it has the PP extend, then go for the 70 because you'll have less PP extend on the 70. PP extend will introduce vibrations and like, it'll tip your center of gravity if you're shooting video. That's why I stopped using my 70 mil macro and instead got a proper Sony 90 mil. And also the 70 is a little bit loud when it's focusing. Not loud enough for anybody to hear it on stream, but loud enough for me to hear it and to get annoyed. Fuck. There we go. 
I forgot that the manual focus remembers where you were. What keyboard are we putting these switches in? Well, they were originally supposed to go in the 280S. However, I have glare coming at some point and I have a 910 coming. To be fair, the 910, I'm like almost never gonna type on it. So I'll just put on whatever. I might even like go clickies. Look, look how nasty this is, look how nasty this is. Like that's bent, that's bent, that's bent. Like these are all fucking destroyed. They're all fucking destroyed. Yes, these are hyper glides. They glide very hyper. Did I lube this? Yeah, I did. Get the... Wait, I've had to toss out so many of these for just being mangled. What's a good plate material for clicky switches like Blue Alps? It depends what board it is. FR4, can never go wrong with FR4. Steel, if you really like want it to sound like an Alps board. Alternatively, plastic. Do you know what caps for glare? Yeah, whatever. Beige. Maybe PBT. Apparently there is no PP, it's internal. Go for the 105. The PP is the thing that annoyed me the most. Just make extra sure. So uh, these switches were supposed to go in the 280s, but again, I don't, I don't, I don't even know. I don't even know. We've been looping these forever. And to be fair, at some point, I'm gonna just remove all these springs. These springs are fucking terrible. Like I literally got debated. Like I thought these were Geon springs. So like, I'm just like, fine. But normally I don't try sussy springs for obvious reasons. So I've been one Elps build. I mean, I had an Elps build. I just sold it to H. Who I built the fucking Kaliup for. He's like, Simon, I don't have any good builds. Why do you find those makeup applicators better than a brush? Because I can literally lube it with my eyes closed. Okay, like I'm, I'm struggling to get it in the hole, but I struggle with my eyes open. But it's super, super easy to just lube super consistently and like not have to worry about it. Like you don't have to put the effort in to get a good lube job. That's why I prefer it. Like it's near impossible to over lube. Like you need to, you need to, I don't know. You need to really hate yourself. And also I have like really shaky hands. Brush, uh, brushes require finesse. Just ignore the giant globs of lube and it's perfectly consistent, sir. Shut up, it's fine. Oh God. Oh. So like, I feel better. Like my lung, my lungs and my throat are still killing me. Like I'll just randomly have coughing fits from, from my throat being really itchy. <sighs> like I can I can make better time with an applicator than I can with a with a brush. Brushes are not for me. They really are not. Like if I was gonna do stem only, maybe, maybe I'd consider brushes, but I do bottom only, so. Applicator fits perfectly in all the holes. We take those. When it fits perfectly in all the holes, you take those. All right, I'm, I'm 
praying that like I'm gonna have enough springs. If if I don't, I'm gonna have to open every single switch up, freaking swap them with better springs. Fuck. That's, I can't believe Paul debated me this hard. Okay, can I, like they're they're so stuck together. It's crazy. I've never seen springs this stuck together. I'm literally just using my hands at this point. Like tweezers aren't doing shit. What's up with the springs? I hate them. I fucking hate them. Like the majority of them are bent. Like here we go. Here's a bent one. Like literally the first one I grab. You see that? That's bent. Like, I've had to throw away so many of them. It's aggravating. All right, I have like 10 springs and about 10 switches, so let's pray. What springs are those? I, I don't know, Paul gave them to me and I thought they were Gion springs, but apparently there's some sussy prototype springs. Sometimes it's a little bent and that's fine. Sure, sometimes, but like in, in this scenario, I don't like the feel of it when it's bent. Ah. All right, how many switches do we still have? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Fuck, we have twelve more switches. And I have, okay, I have at least 12 springs in there. What weight are they? I don't know, like 60 something? They're above 60 for sure. This question has been answered, I'm sorry, but what are those switches? These are MX blacks. What's the max weight I can use? I mean, the, the Nixies I got are 80. I can type on 80. I prefer not to, but I can type on 80. Like, it's all preference. Like, my sweet spot is like 55 to 58.5 for linears, maybe 62 to 65 for tactiles, up to 80 for clickies. Because, like, I'll type heavier on clickies. Real Nexies or fake Nexies? Fake Nexies. Geon Nexies. It's not my build, so I just built with switches I was given. I didn't buy any Nexies for myself. I mean, if I spend, like when I spend some time with this board, we'll see. Like if I like them, maybe. But they're so expensive, dude. Like I'd rather just have like three decent switches for the price of one like Nixie. I don't know. I prefer consistency over just like wow factor or whatever. Like, I don't give a shit, dude. I just want something that feels good. Get Gadax, I have like a thousand Gadax, dude. I'm chilling. The issue is the, the PPs are a little small, so they're kind of annoying to build with in some builds. And also, I want to lube them. Ah, uh, no. Okay, the PPs are acceptable, but I want to lube them and I don't have any oil. And I really don't want to lube them with grease. Come on, dude, really? Like, how? How are you so fucked? Well, I just lost two springs. I watch watch me get to like the last switch and be out of springs. Just because these are fucking mangled together. I really want to try a contactless hall effect switch. Steel series? Steel series is a Hall Effect board, but I think it's only Hall Effect on the 60% cluster, not the whole TKL. But still, like, whatever, it's good enough. Otherwise, you go full, uh, full Razor Optical. All right, let me, let me try and get a little bit more comfortable. Give me a second.
I haven't typed on the Steel Series, but I've typed on the Razer uh, Opticals. And to be fair, like if if you were deaf, for example, they feel great. Like they're very interesting. Unfortunately, they sound like ass cheeks, and not like the nice ass cheeks. They sound like you know the terrible ass cheeks that you see like walking into a Walmart. The ass cheeks you don't want to see. Sound probably because of bad chassis. No, they sound be they sound bad because they have like a stabilizer wire in every single switch. That'll kind of do it. That'll do it. They feel really smooth though, and like fairly consistent. I remember when he tried to fix one, well, yep. I wasn't supposed to fix it. I was just supposed to like get it and try it, but it arrived dead. We can get a custom PCB and put it on the, no, you can't, no. It's all fucking proprietary until like we get a smart brain PCV man to like reverse engineer it. Okay, this one feels like double the weight of like every other one. Yeah, it's literally double the weight of every other one. Why, why, why do... <coughs> Paul? Actually, do you... I'm... Okay. I'm literally DMing Paul right now. <clears throat> Please. For the love of God, never give me sussy springs again. There. Ah, <sighs> God. Like, I know it's gonna happen. I'm gonna solder them onto a board. You know, prior to soldering it onto a board, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna fucking put them in a hot swap board. And if they feel wildly inconsistent, then we'll have a stream where we just open them all up and just swap the springs with actual good springs. That's the play. Because if I solder them in, I'm gonna be too lazy to desolder them and then I'm never gonna type on the board. Do you have a hot swap board? Yes, I have two. Both of them are Keychrons. And I guess the sand glass is a hot swap board. So we have a fucking choice. What springs are they? I don't know. There's some weird fucking springs that Paul gave me that I thought were Gion springs. So I'm like, oh, let me try the Gion spring. Then like he came into my chat and he's just like, yeah, these aren't Gion springs. Cut to the chase and swap now? No, I don't have the motivation, dude. I don't have the motivation. They might be okay. They might be okay, okay? Allow me some copium, please. Allow me to cope a little bit. But like, just from the fact that like, so many of them are like, mangled together, like, to the point where like, they, they can never be used. It's just, oof. I see you are being positive for once. Hey, I was positive enough to stream. Okay, I'm a positive guy. I'm a very positive guy. I'm all about that positivity. Oh, I think he responded. I heard you like Proto Springs, shouted Caster. Okay, for, for the record, for the record, the only reason why I used these is I thought they were Proto Springs from Gion. And I didn't realize until like you told me on stream like 18 streams ago when I was like working on these that they're not Gion Springs. But I kind of figured that out from the fact that they were all fucking mangled. I just dropped a spring in my PP area. We got it. I have those on type B, they're good. They're just, so many of them are fucking mangled. Like, I don't know how they were stored or shipped or whatever, or who sat on them, but oof. Oof, it's bad. Like, literally the weight difference is like plus 20, 30 grams in some cases. 
Oh, all right, let's do a little alcoholism. Okay, I guess we're gonna do all the alcoholism. Wait, I remember typing on this hype B and not liking the springs. You should have fucking told me that. Wait, was it the springs? It may have been. My throat hurts again. Congrats. Welcome back to the land of the dying. Oh. Oh yeah. Small whiskey break. Take a small whiskey break. Is you already done though? Nice. Your nose is Rudolphing again? Is it? No, we're okay. We're okay. I'm just overheating a little bit because I'm too lazy to change out of my work shirt. I literally came home, started fighting with my network and didn't stop fighting with it until like, like eight to 10 minutes after stream was supposed to start. It was rough. <laughs> it was rough. Ah. Oh. Look, this is my last bottle of Maker's Mark. <sighs> I would order alcohol, but instead I ordered like a whole bunch of server shit. For some reason, my computer cannot be pinged from any other device in my house. Have you troubleshooted it? Literally just like plug your laptop directly into your computer, give them the same subnet and see if you can ping it. If not, then the problem is your computer. You are ordering alcohol online yet? Yeah. Have you tried turning it off and on again? Give me one second, let me try. Wait, where's my big ass fucking... Dude, I got like a super nice, like, direct attached cable, like 10 gigabyte, like, like fiber cable, but like copper, and I broke it. I don't know how I broke it. I'm gonna use it to hang myself. It's running between like behind my desk and the rack right now. Where is nut button? There. Ah, feels bad. Can be pinged if it's direct. I'm working on this. Okay. I mean, ICMP versus sending data are two different things. So it can be pinged if it's direct. Okay, then you start by process of elimination, close the switch, next switch, next switch. Any hot takes on SVB? We used to manhandle those copper 10 gigs. Bro, I don't fucking know. I don't know. Maybe, maybe the switch died. Cause like, that was the issue. The switch was being really sussy. I don't know. Oh, SVB Silicon Valley Bank. My hot take is that the Fed moving in so quickly to remediate the situation is a big red flag. You remember the last time the Fed stepped in to help failing banks and how great that ended up for the world? I remember. Yep, 2008-ish. Like, it seems like everything is okay, but that money for the bailout is coming from somewhere. It's coming from the taxpayers and off the Fed's balance sheet. Mm. Ah. Do a little do a little economics. Listen, I was there, I watched 2008 happen in real time. It was great. It was great. It was fucking fantastic. 
best part was like the multi-year recession that the entire world suffered because few people couldn't fucking keep it in their pants. Metaphorically. I'm so good at focusing. You were eight when that was, I was 18, 19. This is one largest bank, it's two banks. It's SVB and another bank, for now. And within 24 hours of each other, so expect more banks. Like my banks in the US, like my company banks sent me an email, I'm like, We're, we are increasing the uh, FDIC insurance to $3 million, so your funds are safe. Please don't take your money out. That's not a red flag at all. That's a fucking big red flag. It's not a red flag, it's dark pink. Absolutely. It's just light purple. Don't worry about it. There's a second bank? Yeah, yeah. There were there were two major banks. Like, this is the start of something. The fact that the response was so immediate is like, wait, I have no switch tops. What the fuck? I have three stems, three bottoms. Oh, wait, wait. I found them. We found them. All right. All right. Oh, shit. This is what happens when you don't clean your desk, boys. You are a red flag, and hey, you are not doing that bass. I might be. You don't know. You don't know. You can't fucking prove it. What's up, Sam? It's been a while. What you been up to? Why don't you come visit us anymore, you bitch? Wait, he has an espresso machine? Fuck yeah, let's go. Espresso machines, fuck. Mine randomly died for no reason, so I'm gonna give it to Paul in the hopes that he can fix it and keep it and enjoy it. You could ask the same to Poner. I mean, he's alive. He's alive. He's just not doing keyboards. Smart. Ponar always had a big fucking brain. Honestly, fuck keyboards, dude. Like, I love the hobby. I love the community. I'm just, I'm just over keyboards. That's why it's taken me literally like six weeks to lube these 80 switches or 84 or whatever. PP hair? Where? 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 Or like on the applicator. In the switch? No. Fuck. Fuck, that's like impossible to get out too. Okay, that's not a pee-pee hair. Oh wait, yeah it is. I fucking see you, you little shit. I wish I had good fucking tweezers. We got them. We got it. We got it. Thank you, lads. You guys are the best. I was about to type with a pee-pee hair in my Switch. Like some sort of pee-pee hair enjoyer. So I'm getting old. I mean, from my like, keep in mind, like your your angle is like, like your angle is like this close. My angle is like this far, and from a completely different angle. All right, we have one more switch to lube, so let's milk it. 
Oh, keyboards, right? We, do, do we, we like keyboards. Keyboards are good. We keyboard. What's the deal with keyboards, right? Ah. Ah. Mmm, delicious. Music is chill and nice, yeah. It's country music. <laughs> I just felt like country music, even though I can't hear it. I felt like country music for you guys. <coughs> country music is lit. <clears throat> Cough. <clears throat> All right, we're good. <sighs> mm. Mm. All right. I could try plugging in my direct attached copper cable again. But I think that's probably what killed my switch. That would explain it. Because like I unplugged it and I rebooted it a couple times, then it was okay. Hmm. Hmm. Or like the switch is actually bad, who the fuck knows. We'll see. We'll see. Tomorrow I'll get in some more fiber cables. So I can just like run fiber instead of uh, copper. And if it continues being like very sussy, then we know it's the switch and I'll send it back. Oh God, what a life. So you have a warrant. I got it from Amazon. I can literally just be like, fuck you, it's broken, take it back, and they'll take it back. Even though it's from like US Amazon. How was your day? It was all right. It was all right, man. Until I had to like come home and fight with like my switches that weren't working and I couldn't stream because I had no internet on this computer. <coughs> then I rebooted it and smacked it and it worked. Ah, percussive maintenance. How Elsa doing? She's been kind of sus, dude. Elsa's been sus. She's been really sus. Like, since I got sick, she's been really sus. Like, she's been like, like avoiding me playfully, but also not playfully. And it's kind of sus. It's okay, she'll have friends real soon, in like a couple weeks. Wait, how many weeks? One, two, three weeks. In three weeks, she'll have friends. She'll have an orange boyfriend and a plant. To be fair, the first couple days when I was like mega, mega sick, she would try like to try and come up into the bed and I pushed her off the bed like a couple times, like without even realizing, because I was so fucked. And since then, she's just like, is Dubai work week Monday through Friday? Yeah, they changed it. That's the best thing about Dubai is like, we're changing our weekends. Okay, starting like two weeks from now. Good luck. Just Dubai things. My throat hurts. Office was so cold today. It used to be Sunday through Thursday, by the way. You need to get one of these. So like Friday, Saturday was our weekend, then Sunday we'd work all the way to Thursday, which I liked, it was, it was cool. But whatever, normal weekends are also fun. Like, uh, you remember I used to stream group by reviews on Saturdays. I used to stream uh, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and I just shifted it one day, when they shifted the weekends. Yeah, dude, COVID will fuck you up. Uh, like, I'm pretty sure the fact that I had COVID is what really fucked me when I got this flu. Cause like, it was worse than COVID. Like I was bleeding out of places you don't want to be bleeding from. Like your throat and your nose and thankfully not the ass.
Ah. Uh, yeah, poor Elsa. It's all right. It's all right. Give her some time. Give her some time. She'll be all right. All right. Let's let's do this last switch and then we can hang out. How about that? Like I don't want to go too hard on keyboard shit. Keep in mind, like I like my throat is still fucking killing me, as is my head. But like, we're chilling. We're chilling. We do what we can. We do what we can. All right, last switch. And what we'll do is we'll pop all of these into a hot swap board just to see if they feel okay. But before we do that, we're gonna chill and drink some whiskey. Cause I'm a lazy fuck. All right, let's see if we got enough switches. We should theoretically have enough switches, but you know what? Let's not even count. Let's just start putting them in the board. What's the worst that could happen? Giggle. Oh wait, no, we said, okay, wait. I'll get the board. Okay, let me take this off. One second. Simon, our stream time's gonna remain the same? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yep. All right, give me a second. Ah, uh, let me... Let me get out of my work fucking polo shirt and like change into a comfy shirt. Oh. What board? Uh, Keychron, K8. Is my K8. There it is. Oh no, this is more switches. Whatever. Whatever. Oh, so this is one of the this is one of the merch samples I got that failed the QC test. Like you can't really tell, but like. Oh wait, no, no, no. This is this is my old one. Never mind. The merch sample is blue. This is my old October shirt, and it's still holding up. It's got some holes in it from Elsa's claws, but like otherwise. You're doing okay. All right, uh, where is the cap? Dude, I still can't believe I'm still going like through the lube that I got in like 2018 from Krellbit. So good, so good. Ah, all right, let's drink a tiny bit of whiskey and then we'll go. I wanted to send you W1 to build because my family's visiting Dubai, but you were sick. I mean, you could have sent it to Paul. Will the new merch be scra scratched by Elsa as well? Well, no. The The new merch will ship from the US and I from the EU, love depending on like where you order from. So it doesn't pass through here. Thank you, by the way, for the five months. All right, let's go. All right, so this has fucking get reds, okay. Krellbit streamed last night, like keyboards? Krellbit's alive? All right, we're probably not gonna have enough switches for this, cause like, I'm building this in an 84, not an 87. Oh, excuse me. K's build. What's the K's? I like, I can't keep track of all these fucking meme boards. Sounds like some weeb shit. Is it weeb shit? I probably reviewed it and like don't even fucking remember. All right, uh, before we go any further, let's make sure that this thing is actually hot swap. 
Yeah, it is, okay. Good thing we checked. It'd be really stupid if I went through the whole thing and like, it wasn't a hot swap. So flat wide. Is it north facing? No. It's it's normal facing, whichever one is normal. So yes, it's north facing. Don't expect me to use brain today. My brain game is like mid to low. Normally south? Then it's south. South facing LED, yeah, so north facing switches is south facing LED. Like, that's the confusion right there. Wow, it doesn't even, I can't even get this in there. How are you supposed to pop these out? Can I pop them out from the side? I can, but it's a bad idea. Well, fuck it. I don't care. I'm just gonna wiggle them out. Like the bottom row, like you, you can get the switch puller in there. Oh, looks like the top also can't be pulled out with a switch puller. Great design, guys. Great design. I mean, it is like literally an $80 board, so. All right, I'm gonna hope that there's standoffs between the plate and the PCB. So the PCB doesn't just randomly fall into the bottom of the case when I pull all the switches out. Have you seen the new TX AP steps? I have not. I assume that they're new and expensive and very likely will not be consistent and overpriced. It's like every other fucking new stabilizer that has existed in the past fucking 10 years. It's always been the same shit. Oh look, we made a new stabilizer. It costs 15 times the price of a normal stabilizer and 12% of the time it's completely fucking broken. Or if it's Duroc, 50% of the time it's completely fucking broken. Hey, listen, I've just been burned so many times, I'm just trying to save you from getting burned so many times. Learn from my lessons instead of having to learn from your own lessons. My lessons have been, in the vast majority of situations, every new switch stabilizer that has come out in the fucking past, God knows how long, has been a disappointment in one way or another. I really wish I could actually Get the puller in there, that'd be great. And I can just pull it from one side. Yeah, fuck it. All right, apparently that only works from the bottom. Oh. I love stabies though. I mean, the first round of stabies were literally unusable and they were zeal price. So they're gonna have to do years of fucking flawless stabs to make up for that. 
I'll give sloppy for DCS 9009. DCS 9009 goes hard, dude. DCS 9009 fucks. This is so bad for the switches, but like, I literally can't get them out. All right, there we go. Oof. All right. I'm gonna prioritize all the non-cucked locations. Have you tried GMK's new I QMX? You mean the ones that nubs. like literally are incompatible with like any other previous stabilizer? And like you literally can't mod it? No, I haven't. Why would I? Aren't those alloy side panels re removable? Yes, but that requires a screwdriver and the effort to unscrew them. Also, radar noise. Thank you for the twin. <coughs> 23 buds. <coughs> Apologies, I'm still kind of sick. Ah. Like drinking whiskey and streaming is probably not the play for somebody that was like as sick as I was last week. But Simon, you're supposed to support the hot swap sockets from or they fall off. Ah, fuck it. I don't care. Honestly, fuck hot swap, dude. Hot swap is like so fucking disappointing. You can't use switches that have ever been soldered before. You can't use switches that are slightly bent. You have to be fucking flawless in your execution. Your plate needs to be tighter than your fucking grandfather's, no, sorry, grand niece's asshole. Is that lewd? I don't know. Maybe they're over 18. That's why they're perfect for beginners though. Yeah, just, just give all the garbage to the beginners. Just let them struggle. I agree. To be fair though, like hot swap has its place for a break-in board or for like, I don't know what kind of switches I like, so let me like figure it out board, but that's it. Once you're like indoctrinated into the actual enthusiast community, fuck hot swap. You're allowed to own one hot swap PCB for break-in and that's it unless you can somehow break in more than one board at a time. But yeah, fuck hot swap, dude. Fuck the idea of hot swap, seriously. It lowered the barrier of entry, potentially in a way that has harmed like the integrity of this hobby. And I know that seems like a little bit like drastic, but look, think about it, you know? We made it so easy, and right after we made it so easy, we had fucking flippers coming in, buying fucking Chifu boards and trying to do dumb shit with their fucking key cults that they shouldn't have even fucking owned. People were fucking trying to flip keyboards for upwards of $7,000, all because of hot swap. Oh, but Simon, correlation doesn't imply causation. Yes, it does. Eat my ass. It's nice when I want to dial, dial in a build. Yeah, that's fine. It's fine if you use it as a tool. It's not fine if you use it as like your, your primary, like this is how I enjoy keyboards with hot swap. Motherfucking, be straight motherfucker, be straight. Listen, what I say is purely my opinion, okay? 
You might disagree. That's totally fine. You can be wrong. You're allowed to. This is a DIY hobby. Primarily, okay? And before we start spewing shit about accessibility, I watched a man solder with his feet better than I can solder with my hands. So no, no, fuck accessibility, okay? Soldering switches is already hella accessible. He is wrong, don't believe his lies. Sent from Mr. 5mm plate on hot swap PCB. Mm-hmm. Okay, am I actually gonna have enough switches? I might. Ooh, I might actually. So I'd have one, two, three, four, and spacebar. Yeah. Yeah, we got it. But yeah, like the barrier to entry of like soldering has, in my opinion, been like a relatively good thing. At that rate, why not hand wire? Well, no, no, no. Again, okay. I'm not being a dick about it. I'm just saying that, you know, putting in a tiny amount of effort, okay? You can solder a TKL PCB <coughs> without knowing whatever the, f without knowing anything about soldering in about 40 minutes. And if you know, about 20 minutes, okay? I think that, you know, having that, like, gives more value to your build. It makes you enjoy your build more. It brings you closer to the hobby. It makes you want to learn. It teaches you, you know, all the shit that you want to learn to like be part of the community and whatnot. Removing that from the equation is not great. And fuck accessibility, okay? Assignments just define gatekeeping. So generally, okay, so generally my, my logic on gatekeeping goes as follows. As long as you are willing to learn, no matter how little you know, no matter how little you know, no matter how unexperienced you are, as long as you are willing to learn, you're not a normie, okay? But if you come into the hobby and you're not willing to learn, then you are absolutely a normie. And that absolutely carries over to soldering. We've come full fucking circle. So like, I'm not like, oh, if you don't know anything, don't come into the hobby. No, it's fine, dude, come, come, fucking learn. Learn some shit, you know, get teached. I need more whiskey, what are those caps? These are like old generation Shenpo caps. They're super sussy, but they were like $20. Which, you know, for the price, fuck it. All right, let me let me go get some more whiskey. All right, listen, don't don't listen to me, okay? Don't listen to my fucking dumbass, okay? My opinions are my own, okay? And I have opinions. I have strong fucking opinions, but they are my opinions. I'm not gonna lie to you, you know. I'm not gonna fucking sugarcoat it. I'm gonna tell you what I believe. Yeah, they're the same ones from the NCR review. Okay, I am always completely alright for people to be into the hobby at varying depths. People should enjoy custom keyboards and chatting about them without necessarily knowing everything, being able to solder, etc. I am with you as long as they are willing to learn. Somebody that comes into the hobby with the mentality of I will use hot swap boards forever is not somebody I want in the hobby. There's no growth for them. They're not a hobbyist. You know, just fucking buy a Corsair. Ah. All right, to be fair though, to be fair though, all right? I am kind of fucking salty because I've spent the last literal 24, more than 24, like 36 hours fighting with my networking at home, okay? So I'm a little salty. So like all, all the toxicity is like boiling out right now. I guess there's a difference between coming into the hobby and enjoying custom boards. If they chat on Discord, so they feel like being dumb, sure. They should be willing to learn. Yeah, everybody should be willing to learn. That's the whole point of a hobby. Like, th th that's where I draw the line. Like, fuck hot swap, fuck everything else. 
Where I draw the line is if you are willing to learn. If you're willing to learn, whatever it is you're willing to learn, fine. I consider you an enthusiast and not a normie. Even if you fucking know nothing, the simple fact of asking questions and getting answers from people and engaging, fuck yeah, I'm down. The first time I soldered a board, it felt so gratifying. It was just like building a whole ass Lego set. The first time I soldered a board, I completely fucked everything up. And the second time I soldered a board, I completely fucked everything up. But you learn, it's okay. But if they're a well-off normie that just wants to spend a bit of coin and customize their key house slash buy a nice board, I think that's all right. I think that's all right to some degree. I think, again, opinion. I think people with no fucking knowledge should not be coming into the hobby buying fucking key calls, TGRs, shit like that, that don't know what they're buying. It's like dumb fucking like, you know, lottery winners that fucking buy Ferraris and Lambos and blow out the transmission day one. Those are people that should not have said things, okay? If you're not gonna appreciate what you have, you should not fucking have that thing. I don't know, that, that's how I see it. If, if, you know, if you're decently well off, okay, and you still want something nice, there are nice things you can have, okay? But not Ferrari Lambo level. My TGR Jane is hot swap currently Lamau, okay. <clears throat> ban. <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh. Usually I would say the casual normies would contact somebody for build or recommendations. My friend got me to build an AQ with GMK, not too high end, not super entry. That's fine, dude. That's fine. Like all this is fine. I don't mind. Like, I don't mind as long as there's some sort of development. Just develop, move forward. Coming into the hobby and just being completely static is not, is like, is, is, is not being in the hobby. I don't know. Just remembered I have this Thok shirt in the closet. Opened it, but never wore it. You should wear it, dude. You should wear it. October is a happy time. What about mill maxing a solder PCB? I don't like that, but fuck it. If you want to put the effort in, go for it. <coughs> it's got a QK80 as my first TKL. Do you recommend any other mid-range TKL? I mean, the next step up would be Frog. And if you wait until March 22nd, there's going to be good fucking deals on Gion's store. Or hopefully you can get it for like, like $225, $230. And the Frog is mega fucking nice. It's not for me. It's not for me because I'm fucking spoiled. That's why I gave my frog unit away, but like, hmm. So you're saying people can't have something nice because you don't like it? No, no. Because they don't decide to start soldering their own stuff and spending more money because they should be happy with something nice? No, no, you're, you're completely missing the point. Let's consider, let's consider two different people, okay? what I would consider good hobbyists. You've got somebody with a lot of money and somebody not with a lot of money, okay? We'll start with somebody that doesn't have a lot of money. If, if they come into the hobby and they build something like the HIV 60, look it up. It's a full 60 build for like $40. And they put in the effort, they fucking build that shit, fuck yeah, I'm down. And then, you know, they wanna move up a little bit. Maybe, you know, maybe they get, you know, an NCR or something like that. Maybe, maybe they get a fucking G80 and they desolder it, they put in some new switches. Fuck yeah. You've got somebody on the I have money side. Somebody on the I have money side. The, the somebody that I want to see on the I have money side is somebody that's going to sit there and be like, fuck, there's so much to this. This is hard, but let me figure it out. Instead of just being like, oh, here, Teha types, build this for me. No, no. At, at, at that point, just be like, here, Teha types, fuck my wife for me. Where is the enjoyment? The, the point that I am trying to make is that being in the hobby requires that you be in the hobby. You need to participate in the hobby. Simply owning something does not make you in the hobby. Not being able to fucking move forward or learn does not make you in the hobby. It makes you a cuck. 
All right, wait. The, 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 not gonna lie, I've been in the hobby for a year or two, but I'm scared of soldering because of flux fumes and I have anxiety about health I problems. I know you can get fans open windows, but I'm paranoid. No, don't, no, don't even fucking worry about it, dude. I mean, first of all, like flux fumes aren't gonna kill you. Lead fumes would kill you, but that's not what the fumes are, they're flux. Get a nice extractor, you know, get a decent extractor. Like if, if, you're, if you're super paranoid, get a decent fucking extractor, dude. And like, make sure it's right up next to where you're soldering. You're chilling. Make sure it goes outside. Don't even worry about it. Like, don't even worry about it. I solder in a closed room, and have always soldered in a closed room. Obviously, I have ventilation. I don't breathe in the fumes directly. That's probably a bad idea. But like, don't sweat it. Don't sweat it. You want to play it extra safe? Play it extra safe. Go for it. <coughs> Health is number one. F1 V2 instead of frog. I don't think there's a big step up between QK80 and Frog. From a material standpoint, there is. From like a usability standpoint, maybe not. Quick question, why wasn't the Frog TKL for you? I didn't like the sound profile. It sounded a little thin for me. And the feel was a little stiff. I'm, I, I, I enjoy flex, I enjoy bounce. Frog is not flexy or bouncy. I expected the tadpole mounts because tadpoles debuted debuted on the frog. I expected them to actually contribute towards a much softer typing experience. But in reality, tadpoles basically just act as screws and it feels like a top mount. But why? The enjoyment is enjoying something nice. True, fine, fine, I'll give that to you. As long as you can enjoy the fact that something is nice, fine, fine. But if you don't know what you have, then fuck off. Also, thanks, easy one. What do you do for a living? I work at a unspecified company doing marketing and technology. I am head of marketing and technology. That's how I can afford to stream for no money for thousands of hours. But my self-identity and worth is tied to my consumption. See, that's the thing. Like my, my biggest hatred is not like towards like non-hobbyists in my hobby, it's towards fucking capitalism. Fuck capitalism. I made a conscious decision to leave the US and never go back. Fuck that place. Fuck everything that place has ever created. Except for Bernie Sanders, he's cool. What about not wanting to lube? So here's the thing. I don't like lubing. Nobody likes lubing. However, I trust two people on this planet to lube for me. Me and Krelbit. That's it. I would not let anybody else lube for me. Because it's so easy to just fuck it up. And like, I don't know. I, I mean, you guys like see it on the fucking macro cam. You're like, oh, you're using too much lube. I'm not, I'm not. You guys are zoomed in like 200 times. Seems like a lot, it's not. But like, you know, if I'm typing on switches and I see something is over lubed, I'll toss it. <clears throat> Thanks for the reassurance. So look into mass fence, nice fume extractor. Yeah, yeah, go for it. Go for it, go for it. There is an enjoyment from soldering. There is an enjoyment. There's an enjoyment from like putting effort into your build. I, I, I forget the, the specific name for it. It's not the some cost fallacy, but like there's a specific thing where like when you put effort into something, you value it a lot more. And it's not the endowment effect, it's something else. Gonna buy all the Janes and put them in my closet? Do it. Isn't Dubai like a hundred times worse example of money being everything? No, because at least here they're honest as opposed to the US where they're dishonest. Here they tell you you have no fucking human rights as opposed to the US where they tell you you have human rights but you have fuck all. So it's fine. Three years of the hobby and I spent the first two experimenting and learning only with budget boards. Now on, I'm on the point where I know what I want. Meetings are, yeah, meetups are fucking great, dude. Meetups are great. Like when you're entering the hobby, meetups are great because you get to try good shit. But then like once you're in the hobby, meetups are great because you can bring your good shit, drop it on the table and hang out with the boys. I don't see why not moving your switches would make you a non-hobbyist. Just do your thing. Yeah, just fucking do your thing. Who gives a shit? Like if, like I have unloop boards. 
It's good that you mentioned fuck capitalism. Keyboard group buzz and such exist within capitalism manu systems, but it's a lot more democratic when it comes to product design slash funding. That's a great thing and it shows the sort of product versus big ass companies. I mean, there's 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 a line and the line is blurry because like is 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 Rama a hobbyist maker? No. Is Key Cult a hobbyist maker? Oh, they used to be. Maybe not anymore. You know, even TGR is now producing a lot of boards. Does, does that make them less of a hobbyist maker? It's it's a very blurry line. Meetups are just the same MX switch now. You should have come to the Dubai meetup, dude. We had like fucking like. We had like three or four tables of like straight fucking nice vintage shit. Oh, it was good. Sorry, I keep on asking. What are my thoughts on the Rama U80? It's okay if you're into that kind of board. And if you buy it from somebody else, not from Rama, therefore like you actually get it when you pay for it instead of a year later. Like Rama used to be good. Like Rama used to be good. Rama used to make good shit. And then like all the drama and bullshit happened. And like, I don't, I don't give a fuck about drama. Like bro, just do whatever you want with your life. But like, you want a heavy TKL? Okay. You miss the glare. Maybe there will be glare extras because the glare is 4.4 kilos unbuilt. Switch diversity is what I want to get into. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, like switch diversity is great and all, but then there's, there's the, uh, the everlasting meme of you try all the switches, you spend, he you spend years in the hobby and you go back to MX Plex. And it's a meme because it's true. Hey Simon, what's the best way to get into vintage retro keyboards as someone who doesn't have much interest in them at the moment? I mean, if you don't have interest in it, there's there's two boards you should try. Not necessarily own. I would say own if you, if you have the means. They're not expensive. Get yourself a Model M for like $60. Get yourself an old G80, like a G80 1800 or whatever, for like 25, 30 bucks. Try them out. Try them out. Maybe you like them. I like both of them. They're fucking great. In my opinion, like everybody needs, like if you have the means, everybody should own a Model M, a G80, and a Topper board. Like a cheap HHKB or a cheap fucking Real Force, like a Japanese Real Force bought from Japan for like 60 bucks. Whatever. Like you don't have to spend big. But those are the three things that everybody needs to try. Dell AT101s, unfortunately, is like... Ah, eh, fuck it, these are backwards, but I don't care. I can't afford a Tesla Model M. Wait, is there a Model M from Tesla now? How does that fit into like their, their product stack? Is it mm, sexy or sexy mm? Mexi. Okay, that actually works. I don't know, dude. Like, listen, like, I'll, like, people consider me toxic. I'm not, I'm, I'm not toxic, okay? I just, I, I, I want what's good for the hobby. And unfortunately, so much of the shit that's been, like, normalized, that's been, like, going on, people consider okay. And it's not fucking okay. And that's why I fucking get angry. Just search your group by reviews. Those old Rama boards often got Simon approved buys. Yeah, back when, you know, there was no drama and bullshit. So don't buy from Rama, buy from somebody else. You'll probably get it under group by price with like how the market is right now. You started to talk about the problem with Dell and then stopped your sentence. Oh, uh, the problem with AT101s is the quality, like, like how dirty they are, how used they are, is generally really, really, really fucking bad. Okay, L, K, J, H. Wait, L, K, J, H, okay. Sorry, I'm trying to use brains. Oh, 
other TKL recommendations. I mean, generally, like anything by Gion is solid. Uh, there's a lot of good, there's a lot of fucking good bakers, but like it, it depends. Like if, if, it depends how much you're willing to spend. If your cap is like 300 bucks, then the frog is like the best you can possibly get. Like it's fucking solid. I'm looking for my first TKL. What would be better, QK80 or Zoom TKL? What do you think of Keychron Q3? Do not buy the Q3. Zoom or QK80? I'd probably go towards QK80. The Zoom is good, but it's way cheaper than everything else, and you can tell that it's way cheaper than everything else. Uh, the reason why I say don't get a Q3 is it sounds very pingy. They have like weird fucking sound issues where like the sound issues I have are different than the sound issues you have which is indicative of like terrible fucking quality control. Go for a QK80. Quality control is not gonna be light years ahead, but at least you're gonna be getting a better product. You're not going for nice Alps, your first foray into vintage. My first foray into vintage Alps, I got two brand new 5140 IBM, and I harvested all the, uh, all the brown Alps from them. And it was fucking fantastic. And for the record, I paid $125 for both of them. God, the hobby was so nice. Back before all the prices got fucking crazy. I mean, I don't even have Alps anymore. What about good linear switches? There's a lot of like good linear switches. There's Milky Top Gats, you can get them for 13 and 15 cents a pop. You've got JWix, specifically JWix at 18 cents. They're pretty good for 18 cents. You wanna spend a little bit more, you can buy some Hyperglides from China for like 22, 23 cents a pop. And like, you know, if, if you're not willing to go into like Taobao and whatnot, you can, you know, you can get some Hyperglides from Gion or whatever. It's a lot of good switches. But like stick stick to stick to like the usual. What about KGT? No, no. Stick stick to the tried and true. Stick to the tried and true. Because if if you start going into like if you start going into like more like niche shit, more hype shit, more often than not, from my from my own experience, you'll just fucking be disappointed. And if you're still learning, it's it's just gonna leave like a bad taste in your mouth. MX Blake's worth it? Absolutely. Just like, don't spend more than like 28 cents per switch. KTT isn't that expensive, yes, but KTT is really sussy. It's like test key and TTC quality control. Okay, honestly, honestly, these feel pretty good. I'm not gonna do a typing test because like this is fucking K8, but. Okay, I'm, I, I guess they're not inconsistent. Okay, wait. Yeah, these are actually pretty good. Why are you losing, using blue black on? I'm, I'm just testing them. Like we lubed all of them, we spring swapped all of them, so I'm just making sure that they're all good. And he's wrong about modern KTT. All right, to be fair, I've not tried modern KTT. I have been hurt so many times trying new switches that I'm just over it. You know, the kind of person that has just like, like a series of like super crazy, like ex-girlfriends, and then it's just like, fuck it. I'm gonna be celibate for the next 10 years. They improved a lot. Another thing to keep in mind for like everyone watching that isn't like super experienced, switch batch variants is a fucking thing. I can have a great batch of KTTs. You might end up with a shit batch of KTTs. I can have a great, a great batch of Milky Tops or a great batch of Hyperglides and yours could be dog shit. Always keep in mind that it's a fucking gamble. 
it's a gamble. Like, there's like big brain fucking plays to, to pull once you find something that's a good batch. But it's fucking hard. Ah. All right, to be fair, these switches feel pretty good. And I guess the next build stream will desolder the 280S, which is like way over there. I gotta, I gotta move the cabinets or move the camera or something. And put some, uh, some MX Blast in there. Ah. Buying 3D printer was the best decision money-wise. My interest shifted to wired split. Shit that I can build for pennies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is the end game for a lot of people. Not for me, but that is the end game for a lot of people. They're just like, fuck all this shit. I'm gonna fucking make a 32% split JIS ISO with a fucking rotary encoder and a touchpad and an OLED for like $18. Not literally $18, but you know. A lot of people end up in that niche. And it's a cool fucking niche. However, the uh, the the classy boys, we stick to Korean TKLs and you know shit like that. Fuck, I'm gonna have to like reorganize my cabinets so like the nice cubes are behind me instead of over there. I can't even see them. Like that's that's my SSK. That's my 280S. I think that's a Jane. I think that's another Jane. Wait, no, I'm like, wait, where's my other Jane? I, I, I don't know. Fuck it. I mean, how often do you use them? Not often enough. We see paint 27, that's enough. Yep. Uh, generally, I rotate my boards weekly at the office, but if I'm doing a review, then I'll type on a board for an entire month. And more often than not, I'll have a review after review after review. So like, I rarely get to type on the boards I wanna type on. Instead, I'm typing on boards that I have to review. <laughs> but like, realistically, like, what have I used recently? My my Pizza 80, I haven't used in like a couple of years. My Leopold, I used to play games on this computer. My Southpaw full size, I need a new PCB for it. My Arc 60, like, I'll probably never type on it again. It's great, I love it, I'm gonna keep it, but. Uh, I-69, probably like one of the nicest fucking boards I own. Rarely type on it. Alice, rarely type on it. Sandglass, rarely type on it. Bodhi is dead. Uh, 86U. I type on it a little bit during October. Uh, Q3 can fuck right off. Uh, my Space Invader board, rarely use it. Uh, Forbidden board, we don't talk about it. My Duck Viper, I don't use it. My K, I never use it. My Mac Mini 2, I never use it. My Mac Mini 1, I never use it. And there's boards over there that I don't fucking use, so. And there's like three boards on my floor and two on my desk. It's rough. Once you end up with like enough boards, it's rough. Like I, I wanna sell my boards, but I also don't wanna be a cunt and like flip them, but I also feel bad like not getting like fair value for them. The NCR neglected. The NCR is like on the floor somewhere. Like there's some shit stacked on it. The NCR needs like a proper build. You have a 2.0 at work? Yeah, because I keep forgetting to take the Caliup to the office. Sell me a good TKL. Shipping's gonna be like $250, so. Shipping out of Dubai is like stupid expensive, which is why I don't sell my boards. Like I'll sell them to friends for cost because fuck it. Are you in Dubai? Might have somebody coming there.
All right, which TKLs would I actually be willing to sell? Maybe one of my angles. Uh, maybe my, no, that's pretty much it. Aru, no, I'd keep it. I have to rebuild it with clickies. It's so sad, like I have so many nice boards. One of the Janes, MD. You mean MD. I'm, I'm never selling any of my TGRs, ever. Unless like I get the 910 and I hate it, then maybe I'll sell it. Pizza 80, see, I don't use it, but I love it. It's fucking classic. So I'm not a boomer. I'm older than a lot of you, but that doesn't make me a boomer. I'm just experienced. Sell the Nox rate? I have yet to even like enjoy it, dude. That's why we lubed all these switches. I wouldn't sell it. I wouldn't sell it. I waited like four and a half years for it. I'm not gonna fucking sell it at a loss. I'm keeping it. I'm gonna make it fucking feel and sound great. And then I'm gonna enjoy the shit out of it. I waited so long, like just out of fucking like sheer spite, I'm gonna make it like the most fucking amazing 280S build ever. That's why I took fucking like six weeks to loop all these switches that we just like tried out. Sell nothing. Actually, like I have a list. Wait, I have a list. Uh, wait, let me, all right, let me, let me plug in the K8. It might work, it might not. All right, uh, black simon.tv slash shame. All right, KVD75, I'm willing to sell for free. Yeah, Chinese Angle, I'm willing to sell. Corn, maybe. My Acrylic Unicorn, maybe. Keychron Q3, yeah. K8, I'd keep it. Uh, my M6, I'd probably sell it. Yeah, that's it. This really needs to be updated. This probably, this really needs to be updated. Can we see the total of the boards? It's here. Uh, total board cost, yeah. This is cost, not like flip price. Plus shipping. So it's this plus this, so it's $27,000 that I've spent. By the way, I was trying to be difficult earlier, just trying to understand where you were coming, coming from. Wasn't? No, don't worry about it, dude. We're just chatting. Ski Dolce, I think I already gave to Paul. Hydro, I can get rid of. Honeywell, I can get rid of, but it's missing some keys, yeah. Greg, yeah, I hate it. Nautilus, I hate it. Basically, anything that isn't beige, I hate. Except for this. This is beige and I hate it. SA Chocolatier can fuck off. GMK Carbon, Novelties Kit can fuck off. And then switches, look at all the things I hate. Boob inks, yep, fuck off. Alpacas, I put them in my arc. Utemus can fuck right off. Napoleons can fuck right off. Creams, fuck right off. Uh, TTC Scholars, I would actually put them back in the uh, in the Aru. Box Whites, I mean 50, I can't build anything with them. Get Ink, Box Blacks, and Random Hojing Springs. I think I gave these away. Ooh, Hydro. Hydro is expensive, dude. Like, I paid $209 for it, for base, novelties, and space bars back in, like, 2018. It's crazy expensive. It's crazy expensive. This list is, like, super out of date. I need to add, like, all the shit I've gotten recently. So, Arc is recent. Uh, Glare, 910. Uh... What else is recent? Fuck, I don't even remember. The shipping from du yeah, shipping from Dubai to anywhere is too expensive. It's fucking ridiculous. And also shipping in. GMK Handerbit, I like. 
GMK Hander Bay is, uh, I bought it to put on my Jane CE, and I will put it on my Jane CE. GMK bread? I like GMK bread. I know everybody's like, oh, copium. No, I actually like it, it's fine. Like, look at that. It's super nice on a burgundy board, like it's yellower than it should be, but it fucking matches. Looks great. Nice, classic looking, wow. You yeah. know? If I knew it looked like this, would I have bought it? No, probably not. But, happy accident. Oh, no, no, I wasn't totaling everything up. I was just like, going through like, the list in my head. Yeah, bread and wine. Goes great. Ask Jesus all about it. Ah. All right. I guess we chill for a tiny bit and then we end stream. I mean, to be fair, an hour and 43 minutes with how fucked my throat is right now, that's not bad. Like, I know I don't sound as sick as I did on Saturday, but like, mm, wait, why am I dropping, why am I dropping all the frames? Hello? Frames? Is my switch dying? Is the blinking red light blinking? No, it's not. <sighs> Yeah, we, we stopped dropping frames. I, I don't know what happened in the network. Something happened. I dropped 1,400 frames, which isn't a lot, but... Uh, you've been a bit choppy? Yeah, yeah, something... Dude, my network is in fucking shambles, dude. Like I, I recently, like I've been working on, uh, I've been working on like my new network. It's not been great. It's not been great. It's been kind of wild. It's been kind of wild. But yeah, I went full on Omada. It's like Unify, but not Cucks and like half the price. All right, let's see. Well, what has happened to the network recently? Okay, that's when I started stream. And it's been relatively solid. Probably just Windows Update, installing some cool telemetry features. Nope, it absolutely is not. I am running fucking LTSC and like all the window, all the like sussy window services are removed. Like the windows that I run is like super fucking stripped down. Like I don't have anything. Have you had any attacks on your network yet? No, why would I? I have a firewall. I also have a dynamic IP. Why would I have attacks? Like even if somebody sees like my public IP on stream, by the time stream is over, it's a different IP. And even if they tried, like I, again, I have a firewall, nothing's gonna come through. Ah. All right, lads. All right, we're chilling. See if we can raid somebody. Okay, is anybody like actually doing keywords too? Is it, like anybody like Twitch? Any like any keyboarders?
German. Oh, wait, okay. It's it's German. Keyboard. Doing keyboard things. Are you doing keyboard things? Man, it's just fucking chilling too. All right, he's alive. All right, let's raid the shit out of him. I'll catch you guys on Wednesday. Yeah, on Wednesday, we'll probably desolder the 280S, maybe like solder in the new switches. Get a nice build together, you know? It'll be pretty dope. We found a guy with a more messed up table than yours? No, no, no. If I zoom out, I win. All right, thank you guys for watching this stream. I will see you on Wednesday.